Even in the original Super Smash Bros on the Nintendo 64, pretty much every character had a completely unique moveset and playstyle. The one small exception was Luigi, whose attacks took obvious inspiration from Mario's. In Melee, this clone character concept was much more prevalent. Dr. Mario was introduced as a clone of Mario, with slightly different attributes but a virtually identical moveset. Ganondorf was also added, for some reason as a slower, harder-hitting clone of Captain Falcon, Pichu as a masochistic clone of Pikachu, Falco, a higher-jumping fox clone with a downer spike, and Young Link, a smaller, faster Link clone. Melee introduced Marth and Roy as well, who also shared a moveset with different properties. In Brawl, some characters were de-cloned, making new and unique changes to Falco and Ganondorf, and they also removed many clones altogether, cutting Pichu, Roy, Dr. Mario, and replacing Young Link with Toon Link. Toon Link is still basically a Link clone, but he has more original moves and is much floatier. Despite clear efforts to remove clones, Brawl did add Wolf and Lucas, who share similar special moves with Fox and Ness respectively. Smash 4 clearly abandoned this aversion to clones, as they introduced Lucina, who has Marf's exact moveset and physics with different hitboxes, added Dark Pit, who has minimal differences from Pit, besides for his edginess, and brought back Roy and Dr. Mario. Smash Ultimate has taken a smart and fresh approach to clone characters. They've addressed the elephant in the room and now specifically categorize clone characters as Echo Fighters of their clone. Since many fans have been disappointed when new characters are added that wind up being clones, categorizing them differently makes the idea of getting more clone characters actually a bit exciting. And knowing this, Ultimate introduced many Echo Fighters after first reclassifying Lucina and Dark Pit under this category. The new Echo Fighters introduced so far are Daisy, who plays exactly like Peach, Dark Samus, who's basically Samus with different animations, Rom, who is a Lucina-fied Roy, Ken, a faster Ryu with a few unique moves, and Richter, a clone of newcomer Simon. We haven't heard anything about the potential for any more Echo Fighters being added as DLC, and although we'd of course prefer brand new characters, there are lots of cool Echo Fighter possibilities we'd love to see. Before we get into that, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com. Our website is packed with resources to help you learn more about the games you play. In our Smash section, you'll find character guides, pro courses where you can learn from players like MKLeo and Esam, and our Play With Pros feature that connects you with skilled coaches. So there's no official definition of what requirements must be met to fit the Echo Fighter description, which leaves many possibilities open. In cases like Peach and Daisy, an Echo Fighter is basically an alternate costume with different voice sounds and non-essential animations, but Alf isn't an Echo Fighter of Olimar, he's just a costume. And then you have Ryu and Ken, who have different movement properties, different hitboxes, and some completely unique attacks, but they're still Echo Fighters. Why? At this point, it's cause Sakurai said so. Taking a look at the existing roster, the first character that comes to mind is Paper Mario. Dr. Mario already shares a lot in common with Mario, but he's not actually an Echo Fighter, and we'd like to see a lot of different things. It might be tough to still classify as an Echo Fighter, but Paper Mario could use his hammer in place of many of Mario's punches and kicks. His special moves can be replaced by similar attacks in the Paper Mario series as well, such as using Madame Fleury's Gale Force in place of Flood. This Mario would also have to be a bit floatier and possibly lighter as well. After all, he is made of paper. At the risk of overrepresenting the Paper Mario series, we'd also like to see Mr. L as an Echo Fighter of Luigi. The Green Thunder might have better airspeed as jumping is his main attack in his standard form, and seeing as this is certainly not Luigi's Mansion Luigi, he'd go back to having a regular grab. Heads up if you haven't played Skyward Sword, this next one is that game's final boss. Having at least a Demise skin for Ganondorf sounds like a missed opportunity. As an Echo Fighter, Demise could have lightning properties on his sword attacks, and speaking of which, he could use his sword for his entire moveset. You know, like Ganondorf should have the whole time. Next up, we'd add Brawl Meta Knight as an Echo Fighter of Meta- no, okay, just kidding. What we would like to see, though, is Galacta Knight. There's already an alternate costume in Smash inspired by Galacta Knight, but an Echo Fighter would be even better. Galacta Knight is pretty much an Echo Fighter of Meta Knight in the Kirby series. He looks very similar and uses many of the same attacks. Since Galacta Knight wields a lance, he might have a bit more range than Meta Knight, which could be compensated by nerfing frame data. Galacta Knight could also have slightly different attributes to his special move, such as finer control over his Mach Tornado. We bet that many of you have already seen enough of Pac-Man, but Miss Pac-Man just seems like such a perfect choice for an Echo Fighter. Miss Pac-Man could have a completely different set of bonus fruits, featuring items like the pretzel and the banana. The banana might have a boomerang property to it, returning to Miss Pac-Man after being thrown. 
She could also spawn a spring from her Maze Madness game to recover instead of using Pac-Man's trampoline. Dixie Kong has been one of the most requested characters by Smash fans, and she'd make a perfect Echo Fighter for Diddy Kong. As for differences, Dixie would be slower than Diddy on the ground, but faster in the air with a higher jump. Her ponytail abilities could be implemented in a variety of ways. She could use it similar to Peach's float to hold jump while falling to descend more slowly, it could be her up B, or perhaps even a tether grab or command grab. If she still uses barrels to recover, Dixie's up B could travel further than Diddy's with better control at the cost of speed, reflecting her differences from Diddy in Barrel Blast. When they announced Echo Fighters, one of the first choices many of us thought of was Shadow the Hedgehog. This edgy anti-hero would of course be an Echo Fighter of Sonic, and plays exactly like him in the Sonic game series. Shadow skates along the ground with his rocket shoes, so this animation would be very different. Otherwise, Shadow might be a bit slower than Sonic, but with more power behind his attacks. Or maybe they'll just give him a gun. They seem to like doing that. There are quite a few routes that could be taken for a Mega Man Echo Fighter, but we think Proto Man would be a great choice. Proto Man uses an iconic shield to deflect attacks, and this could function as a passive defensive option against projectiles like Link's Hylian Shield. Otherwise, Proto Man will play the same as Mega Man, perhaps featuring different special moves to include weapons from the series that Mega Man doesn't use in Smash. Birdo is quite different from Yoshi, but at the same time, we only really know of one attack that Birdo uses, so she could possibly work as a Yoshi Echo Fighter after all. Birdo would naturally shoot eggs from her mouth rather than throw them, and they would move forward with a straight angle rather than arcing and falling like Yoshi's. Birdo could also swing sports equipment from Mario sports games for her smashes rather than the headbutts, tail whips, and kicks that Yoshi uses. Cloud Strife is a fan favorite character in Smash, and Zack Fair would make a perfect Echo Fighter for him. Zack wielded the Buster Sword before eventually giving it to Cloud, and he can use Limit Break abilities as well. Different movement physics or hitboxes could be implemented to differentiate the two, but having Zack as a pure copy of Cloud would be enough to make most Final Fantasy fans happy. Sheik is a character who kind of flies under the radar in Smash these days. Having an Echo Fighter for her would be great to give her sleek moveset some more time in the spotlight, and we think Impa would be a good choice. Originally Zelda's caretaker in Ocarina of Time, Impa is a member of the mysterious Sheikah tribe who trained Zelda to become Sheik. As Impa is older and more experienced, it would be interesting to see her play with stronger hits and slightly reduced movement speed and frame data. While we're on the subject of more Zelda Echo Fighters, Dark Link is already a costume for every Link in Smash Ultimate, but he appears as an enemy or boss in many Zelda games. This one is kinda like an ALF example. Since Dark Link only uses Link's own attacks already, he doesn't really need to be more than a costume. However, it might be a neat twist to include Dark Link as an Echo Fighter featuring Link's melee moveset as Dark Link first appeared in Ocarina of Time. This wouldn't be too different, just using regular bombs instead of remote bombs and returning the hookshot as his grab and zare. As the genetic foundation upon which Solid Snake was born, Big Boss from the Metal Gear series would make a fitting Echo Fighter for Snake. It's hard to imagine the Snake moveset playing much differently, but he could have slight knockback differences, making up tilt more of a combo tool or having grenades launch opponents more horizontally. This one might be a bit of a stretch, but it would be really cool to see another Persona protagonist as an Echo Fighter of Joker. Yu Narukami from Persona 4 is around the same height, so he'd be the best fit. Narukami would most likely wield a sword, so he'd have to have more range than Joker on some attacks, as well as different animations. Instead of Arsene, he would summon Izanagi, using Zeo lightning attacks with side B rather than Aha and Aegon. Come to think of it, Zeo might have to replace Joker's guns, firing small lightning bolts instead. We said it was a stretch, okay? Izanagi wields a blade as well, so this would complement Narukami's sword attacks as Arsene does Joker's dagger. Blood Falcon is another character whom homage is paid to in the form of an alternate costume, this one being Captain Falcon's red alt. In the F-Zero universe, Blood Falcon is actually a clone of Captain Falcon, so he'd make perfect sense as an Echo Fighter. Blood Falcon could have lots of flashy aesthetic differences such as red flames on Falcon Punch and Kick. Any additional reason to play the Falcon moveset sounds like a good idea to us! Okay, so we know that you probably don't want any more Fire Emblem characters in Smash, but to round off this list, we think it'd be interesting to see the Black Knight as an Echo Fighter of Ike. Ike even has a costume that subtly references the Black Knight, and if Krom has taught us anything, it's that an Echo Fighter can have completely different special moves, and they can also use attacks that they never use in their own games. So the Black Knight would be just fine. Additionally, since Ike's sword has no sweet or sour spots, it would be neat to follow the trend of Fire Emblem Echo Fighters and give him a strong and weak part of the sword, essentially marthizing him. 
Yeah, Lucinified works much better. What Echo Fighters would you like to see in Smash, and do you think there's a chance of any more being released? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload.